What's up friends, it's Voltfirecore. In my last tier list video, which should have been uploaded a couple days ago, I said that I was going to not record as many tier lists, but that changed very quickly. So this is recorded on the exact same day as my first Evolution Pokemon Starter tier list, which I think was an interesting video. Ugh, that, uh, that lady with the girdle, I still get nightmares, even though it was 20 minutes ago. But right now we are going to do a My Hero Academia Class 1A student tier list. Now, My Hero Academia, it hasn't been on like the forefront of the animes that I've been watching. But it's been in the back of my mind. I finished the manga, or I read in, until the current chapter and then kind of just put it down. I'm pretty sure I'm like 10 chapters behind, so maybe I should get back into that. But all these characters are like from season one, so no spoilers in here, you're all good. And I'm not going to be talking about anything that happens past um, season three or something, because I don't want to spoil any of you guys. But we're going to get started. Alright. So I'm going to mix these up a little bit because I don't know why these are ordered this way. Maybe like most popular or something. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start off with Tailman or Ijiro. Or Ojiro. Tailman. Now, inside of the show, this dude is seen as extremely boring and plain, which, if I'm being perfectly honest, is kind of what he is. The character is fine, but I was really looking forward to him having a growth arc. Never really had one. So, if we're just basing this off the anime, I I don't like the character that much. So, I hate to say I'm going to have to put him inside of like a low C tier. Not a big fan of poor Tailman. Uh, Kyoka Jiro. Now, uh, I'm just going to scoot her up to S tier. Favorite absolute favorite i played one's justice for over like 200 hours and she's been the character i've played the most she's she's a big favorite of mine i really like the character her cork is insane she got like supersonic waves she's crazy it's a very unique power and i like the character a lot and uh an interesting thing is coming up for her inside the uh inside the anime it's very cute no spoilers here, though. No spoilers here, though. Okay, actually, I'm going to mix these up some more because I don't like how this is ordered. Okay. Mr. Birdman. Tokuyami. Now, Tokuyami, it's either you love the dude or you hate the dude. Personally, I think the dude's fine. I like him as a character. He's a little, a little edgy for me, but, you know, that's his whole thing. He has a, a quirk, literally called dark shadow so it makes sense he'd be a little demonic or something he's cool i like the dude i think his quirk is insane and insanely broken unless you know how to exploit it which bakugo did in season two but character's fine i'm gonna put him inside of a high b tier uh ah mr zappy mr denki now denki is a uh, a fan favorite in at least inside of my friend group he's um kind of the comedic relief in some circumstances and his uh power is exploitable if you can make him uh blow a giant load <laughs> of his electricity he's probably going to be inca incapac incapacitated dang but but denki kiminari is um i like him I'm going to put him in A tier just because he's he's a cool character and he does a lot of cool things. Like in Season 3 with his whole electric disc thing. That was pretty cool. Uh, Momo Yadorozi or Yadoroz. Lady who's like 15 years old and has like double Ds. Um, I like this character. I really do. She had a cool growth arc inside of like the end of Season 2. I think that's when she had it. Um, she has a very interesting quirk. You wouldn't think of something like that, but the creator of My Hero Academia did. So the character is big favorite of mine. 
I'm gonna put her inside of um I'll say a high B tier if Tokuyami would move his fat bird head. Uh, Bakugo. Now this is a a very interesting picture of Bakugo that they chose for him. If we're being perfectly honest, um some of these pictures are a little a little funny, like a uh, like like tail man over here. He looks like he's cross-eyed. Uh, but Bakugo inside the actual anime does not look this smug. He's um more of a uh, hothead, you could say. I'm pretty sure he was voted the most popular character inside of the uh, character popularity contest <laughs> when um the uh, creator of the manga decided to do one, which makes sense. He's a He's a good character. He got a real cool quirk, and I like him. So I'm going to put him inside of a low A tier just because you can't not like Bakugo. And he just gets better. Like, he's just... I don't know. He's crazy. Uh, Mina Ashido. Now, um, she's kind of a dunce. She doesn't have big brain, but she's very sociable. Very nice to look at. She has very interesting eyes, like... I don't know why, but whenever I see this character, I don't look at her skin color or her horns or hair or even her weird acid stuff. No, I always look at her eyes. I don't know. But I like the character a lot. She was one of my favorites for a very long time. Her cork is insane. It's like total crazy acid. I haven't seen her use it inside of like a an extremely violent sense yet. Maybe she does. I don't think so. If she really wanted to, she could, like, strengthen up the, the power of her acid or something and, like, burn through someone's skin, but she's a hero, so she's trying to uh, mitigate damage, which is probably good. Um, so she is a low S tier, in my opinion. And if you guys disagree with this tier list, more power to you. Leave yours inside the comment, comments below, and I'll maybe review them or something. Uh, Seto. Tape Man. Now... Tate Man's funny. I like him. He got a bunch of interesting things that he does, kind of. He's one of those background characters. Like, you have, like, the like the main characters, like the big boys, like Deku and Bakugo. Then you have, like, the popular characters that everyone likes, like her and her and her. And then you have the background dudes, like these two guys that kind of just sit inside the back. I do have to say, Seto, his, uh, his quirk's a lot more uh, standout-ish than Mr. Tailman, since Mr. Tailman just has a tail. So, Cero, uh, or Cero, inside of my opinion, is a low B tier, which is a little bit better than Tailman, since I just don't like Tailman. <laughs> Aoyama, or Naval Laser, I, I don't like this dude. I really don't. I never really liked him. Even when I first saw him, he, he, uh, uh, I don't know. Some people like him, but I don't like his outfit, I don't like his cork, and his art style is fine, but, ugh, his growth, mm, I don't really like what they made the character all about, like, he just kind of wants to be shining and pretty, and he does that, and he's, uh, very loud, not inside the noise sense, but, uh, inside the look at me, I'm so pretty sense, which I'm not a fan of looking at, so, I'm going to put him above Tailman, since Tailman is just undeserving of uh, being above anyone. Except a couple dudes, which uh, I'll put lower. Uh, okay, we got Deku. Now, now Deku... I have a couple uh, things to complain about with Deku. Now, I, I fully understand why people love the character. He's really cool. He has amazing growth, but... I think he kind of lost what made him special inside the later seasons. I really like Deku inside the first season and about halfway through the second season. Basically, when he started getting more, uh, I don't know, strong inside the head and not as weak, which I know was a part of his growth, but I found it more interesting to watch him slowly grow instead of, you know, toughen up and be a strong hero and fight his way through things. I... I don't know, that might sound a little weird, but I found him more interesting to watch when he was making big leaps inside of his thing instead of slowly progressing and getting stronger, which is still fun to watch. 
and I really like Deku as a character, so I'm going to put Deku above Bakugo just a little bit, because they're both good characters. It's just, he would be an S tier if he kept uh, the things I liked about him. In my opinion, that's what I like about him. Partly because the only reason I really started watching this show is uh, Deku's montage at the beginning, which is by far my favorite scene of My Hero Academia. <laughs> um, Toru, or Invisible Girl. Her cork, pretty much useless inside of a fighting sense, unless she is... Unless she, like, mastered kung fu or something, but I don't think she did. She kind of just takes off all of her clothes and walks around naked. And she's invisible. So her cork's useless, but she has um, a heck of a lot of personality for someone who doesn't have a face. I, I don't know why, but I really like the character. I really like her a lot. So, Invisible Girl or Toru, I'm going to put you at a high A tier. Now, some people might be, like, right, like livid right now that I put Denki and Invisible Girl above Bakugo. But, please, yes, please don't hurt me. I know there are a lot of people who really like Bakugo. And I like him too. It's just, this is my personal opinion. Please do not tear me a new hole inside the comments. Uh, Kirishima. Now, Kirishima, um, I actually haven't been keeping up with season four of the anime since I've been watching a lot of uh, Index and uh, Railgun at the moment, but I'm going to get back into it. But when I left, they were uh, just finishing with um, Kirishima's growth arc, which was very cool. I think they did a better job into the manga, in, in, in my opinion, but the anime still encapsulated it very well on how he has a big connection to uh, his hero, which I'm pretty sure his name is like Crimson Riot or something. Yeah, Crimson Riot or something. I don't know. But he's a cool character. He was really annoying at the beginning since he was kind of just like Bakugo's side bro, but now he's cool. I'm going to put him at a, I'm going to put him at a high B tier. Uh, Tsuyu, or Asui, or Frog Girl. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm a dunce. I'm gonna put Frog Girl back down, because I actually, um, I didn't talk about Kirishima's cork. I should actually probably talk about what they do. Okay, so, um, before I move on to the next one, uh, Kirishima. His cork is hardening. He can make himself very tough. Now, I just have to say, there are very few moments inside of manga and anime that I've genuinely been, like, extremely hype. Like, whoa! When, um, Kirishima first did his Unbreakable mode, that was one of the most epic things I've ever seen. I liked it a lot more inside the manga because, um, it was a lot more detailed inside of that one. Like, all the stones had, like, shiny things on them. And I know that's kind of just how things work. You're not going to be able to get a perfect translation from manga to anime, but still. If we're just talking about the character, I really like his quirk. So, yeah, that's why he's a high B tier. Uh, frog girl. Frog girl, she's a frog. She has powers of a frog. Um, her quirk, don't really like it that much. I honestly don't. The character, I think a lot of people like her for various reasons. She has a lot of um, questionable fan art made about her, and she's also very cute, but she, uh, that, that's kind of all she does. She's very cute. So, Frog Girl doesn't really hit it too much for me, so I'm going to put Frog Girl right next to Bird Boy, so they can kind of be together inside their weird animal-human thing. Uh, Mineta. Now, Mineta is that character that either you love him because he's a meme lord, or you hate him because he's a pervert. I think perverts in anime are very necessary. I love the boy very much. Grapefruit, it's, it's amazing. Now, I know he's kind of a joke character because this anime, at some points, can be very serious and very heavy. And if Mineta kind of walks on screen, you kind of know that he's going to try and look at some of the girls naked or, I don't know make his hero story about one and to get the ladies but personally i think minetta is a good character and i like him and maybe they'll even give some epic growth scenes to minetta i doubt it but you know so i'm gonna put minetta below bakugo because i know if i put minetta above bakugo i yeah my channel will be terminated within 48 hours 
Sato or Sugar Man. Don't like him. I really don't. He's one of those characters that just fall into obscurity for me. Um, after reading the manga, I was able to remember most of the characters' names, but Sato was like one of the only characters that even after reading the manga, I still forgot his name, so I had to watch the anime again just to get more connected to him. And after watching it, he did nothing. He's one of the very few characters that like got like no growth inside of the entire show. I don't know how he got inside of class 1a since i don't think his quirks actually that strong super strength is really strong and cool but it's very limited since he has to intake a lot of sugar but i don't like the character that much so i'm gonna put him down here inside the c tiers because these dudes just don't really hit it off for me um, Udaka or Udaka or ochako or gravity girl or gravity or whatever you want to call her i like her a lot. She's very cool. Inside of season two, when she fought Bakugo, that was epic. Her cork, extremely epic. Nothing more to say. She's like, like the first female that is inside the show. Like when you think of females in My Hero Academia, she's the one that pops up inside of most people's minds. So I like her a lot. So I'm gonna put her inside of top eight here. As you guys can see, my S tiers consist of waifus, and my top tier A tiers consist of mostly waifus. So yeah, that's kind of the person I am. Uh, Shoji, eh. I don't really like his quirk, it's really kind of creepy to me. And um, even inside of um, the end of season 3 and the beginning of season 4, they still haven't talked about why he has the mask on. They didn't really give much backstory on him. His quirk has some practical uses, but I haven't really seen him do anything crazy with it. So I don't think the character is insane. I like him more than these three bunguses down here, so I'm going to put him inside of a low B tier. <laughs> Not much more to say about him. He got tentacles that grow off of him, and he can, like, cut them off and stuff. Wait, did I forget some characters? Did I forget to name some abilities? Sugar Man, he gets strong if he eats sugar. He got a bunch of little arms and stuff. And he got balls on his head that are sticky. And she can do gravity things. Okay. Next one. Next one. Tenya Ida, a.k.a. Captain Kankles. Or that's what I called him when I was younger. Now, he got big, big calves. Like, big calves. He got piping in his calves. And like rocket launches him and he's really fast and he can like crane kick you inside the head and probably take off your entire head along with most of your spine so the boo so the boy is really strong but i think he uh kind of just falls inside of the category of he has one gimmick and that's pretty much it he had that arc with stain and besides that he doesn't really do much for me because inside of the whole stain thing he didn't really do anything epic. It was more just other people doing things epic and kind of fixing his mistake and, like, his redemption arc. But he hasn't really done anything, like, epic, in my opinion. But I like the character still. So I'm going to put him inside of a top tier B tier. Again, I'm going to get roasted. Mineta, he's higher than Ida. Okay. Toroki. Now, Toroki, half ice, half fire. He can freeze you. And then when he's done, done freezing you, he can burn you. It's a cool cork, really cool, but if you take away the cork, he kind of just has daddy issues. Wow, we have a whistler out there. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know if you can hear that, but we have a, a very loud person whistling out there. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're just going to continue, and hopefully that's not too loud. <sighs> okay, Toroki. Half half ice, half fire. The character, I thought he was a lot cooler after he got over all of his daddy issues. But the daddy issues is kind of a part of his character. I still like him a lot. I just don't like him that much. So I'm going to put him again above Mineta. Because I'd get roasted if I didn't. But he's a good character. And then we have uh, Koda. 
I'm very sorry, Coda. I don't like you in the slightest. I don't, I, I don't know what creature you are. Are you like a rock monster or something? I think your cork is really weird. You can control animals, but you're also shy about it. There are some some people inside of this class that I don't know how they got inside of like the hero course. This is like the top tier hero course. How did belly button guy get in this? He gets a stomach ache if he uses it too much. How did bug guy do anything? Tail guy, how'd he do anything? Invisible girl literally can't do anything. She's literally just invisible. And he can't do anything. Either. Okay, it doesn't matter. But some of these characters at least have good personalities. Mr. Bug, I don't like him. Never liked him. He had that one thing with Jiro, and that was it. I, I've i never liked the character, and I can't say that um, the character's that good. If I had to like, rank all like the powers, I think Invisible Girl could probably beat Bug Dude inside of a fight, because he could kind of just, you know, call up some bugs, and then she could karate chop him in the back of the neck and he probably gets scared and fall over and pee his pants but i don't like the character i'm very sorry any coda fans if there are any but he's not my favorite but this is my class 1a student tier list hope you enjoyed if you like the video push the like button and comment so i can know if you if you want to see more or something and thank you for watching and keep on lookout for my videos.